Hello everybody and my name is Narendra Kumar and we are from Narendra Academy and today we are doing a very important concept called specific heat. It is a very deep concept but very simple concept also uh, and we are doing as an activity 5 today from in physics through activities. Take a large jar with water and heat it up to 80 degrees centigrade. Take a large jar with water and heat it up to 80 degrees centigrade. Take two identical boiling test tubes, boiling test tubes with single hold corks. One of them is filled with 50 grams of water and the other is with 50 grams of oil. Both are 50 grams, both at room temperature. So, the water here is heated, the water here is at 50 room temperature water here uh, oil here is at room temperature 50 grams of oil now clamp them clamp them to a retort stand so you have clamped them they are fixed there now clamp them to a retort stand and place them in a jar of hot water as shown so you have to place these things in a jar of hot water observe the readings of the thermometers every three minutes every three minutes you observe the readings of the thermometer very interesting thing happens here. Both of them have been kept at the same time in this hot water of 60 degrees centigrade. In which test tube does the temperature rise more quickly? Are the amounts of heat given to the water and oil same? How can you assume this? We believe that the same amount of heat is supplied to water and oil because they are kept in the same jar of water for the same interval of time because both of the test tubes are inserted into the water at the same time. We observe that the rise in temperature of the oil, rise in temperature of the oil is higher than the rise in temperature of the water. This is almost to me if you focus carefully it is like magic because this is 60 degrees centigrade both are at this room temperature but the rise in temperature of oil is more. So, that is a very interesting point. The rise in temperature of the oil is more. Why does this happen? Why does this happen? We will see that later. We conclude that the rate of rise in temperature depends on the nature of the substance. That we can conclude. So, according to substance, same amount of heat given to two different substances may have different rise in temperature. This is very interesting. Okay, so that is a wonderful conclusion of this activity. Okay, we stop here and we will meet in the next lesson. My name is Narendra Kumar and we are from Narendra Academy. Thank you so much.